Oh, she's coming up my way. Hello, little girl. Yeah. My fingers are awfully close to this. <laughs> but I think I'm faster than her, I hope. Oh, I found a lovely juicy meal there. It's still alive. It's a cockle roach and I might, oh, I just dropped it. I might uh, feed it to my wonderful red back who's living in there. The beep has been removed from this video. And as always, this video is highly educational. Beep, beep, beep. That trick is I'm sort of working well no-handedly because I've got a cockroach in one hand and a phone in the other. So I'll just gently lift this off. Sometimes she's living underneath this tin here. Let's see if she's there. No, she'll be, she'll be down in her home. Okay, she's in there. Man, she's grown a fair bit. And I'll just get this beautiful cockroach into the web as a top feeding device and hopefully she'll pick up on this beautiful feed and it possibly won't take oh very long at all oh okay I've just turned the light on so we can see the spectacle a bit clearer it is astonishing how how big this spider has grown in basically well a month this is about a month she's been in here Actually, more like three weeks. Look at that. That web will control that cockroach, and then I dare say there'll be some sort of spider bite. And being a redback spider, it ain't going to be pretty. This is the Rolls Royce sort of home that I built. I had to introduce this spider, but she has stayed there, which is uh, really nice to see. We had this extraordinary rainstorm that happened here, and um, I was thinking, I wonder how the spiders are going to survive that. But I think the spider was basically in the safest area, even though all around here was totally flooded. She's still doing web action there, which is lovely to see. She's one very feisty, very busy girl. She's coming up for a scout. She might be redoing some lines there. I think she's um, got that cockroach contained down there. But while she's doing her marvellous work down there, I'll add some educational lows to this video, also get into trouble. Uh, this is basically uh, a barbecue starter. You used to put your, your barbecue bricks in there and you set them on fire and it warms them up for you. It's been transformed into a lovely spider home. Now the redback spider will have set up its webs underneath here. They're very, very hard to see. There'll be drop down lines underneath there. So anything crawling along here gets caught up in a drop down line becomes breakfast, dinner or lunch. I can see some web traversing down here. It's all very fine. I can see something dangling in the web there. Okay, so it might have been something that could have been a feed, um, but it's all very redback spider. It's all quite miraculous when you start to take a closer look. Directly under the spider home I can see one of the Redback's favourite fur and that is black beetles. When I take a look inside these homes I'm looking for signs of a Redback nest, I'm looking for egg sacs, I can't see that yet. And the other thing I can't see, although it may be there and sort of a bit hard to see, is a male Redback spider. Maybe the video will reveal everything. And because it didn't pay the spider enough it's decided to do its work on the other side of the cockroach there. I can only assume it's putting a spider bite in and doing its spiderific things, but that's the way these spiders play. That cockroach is good night sister. Big time. Okay, she's just popped out from under the cockroach. She's looking rather happy and she's looking rather healthy and I dare say she's gonna be rather full in a few hours time. So yes, it was lovely catching up with her. We haven't given her a name yet. Maybe we should, well, maybe let the audience name this spider while it's still alive. Cough, cough, cough. And I'll just gently put the lid back on her home. And by looking after these beautiful deadly spiders like this, I get to understand where they live and I have the final say of when they get evicted. A few weeks later. I suppose you're wondering what happens with the redback spider after you feed it a giant cockleroach. Well, this is 15 days after that first cockleroach was fed to my beautiful redback spider. Let's see what's going on in here. My crikey, she's been a very busy girl. I can see two spider egg sacs there. 
I'll tell you what, redback spiders would give rabbits a run for their money when it comes to breeding up numbers, and I have caught another cockroach. I did it the Dyson style, you know how I use my Dyson vacuum cleaners. I didn't give it too much of a Dyson spinner, so hopefully the cockroach is okay. But let's take a look at some very important dates. Some people get excited when they see my redback spider chart. As I'm shooting the extension on this video, it's actually right here, the very beginning of March, the 1st of March. My iPhone 7 is killing over in 29 degree temperatures. Apple, please explain. I have got some important dates related to this spider. Scribbled here, but I'll present it better than that scribble. On the 20th of January, it was moved to the trap here. It was a beautiful young spiderling. Very small, it still had the white markings that you see on spiderlings, but it also had that definite red back look to it as well. The first cockroach was introduced on the 15th of February. That's the one you saw in the beginning of this video. The first egg sac appeared on the 20th of February. That's only a few days later. Okay, the second egg sac appeared a week later on the 27th of February. Now, that first egg sac will be due to open, and this is the scary part, on, let's say, March 20th. And that, for me, is actually the autumn equinox. Okay, I don't know what it is for you in the Northern Hemisphere. It'll be something flip-flop around the other way because Australia's upside down and everything. But at least I've got a time scale here of when to act to get the egg sacs out of this body trap. And with my iPhone keeling over in the heat, let me just take some temperature readings of the outside of this trap here, but also the temperature on the inside. I get the temperature on the outside, that's in Celsius 48 or 49, and in Fahrenheit that's 120 degrees Fahrenheit cooking. I get a temperature reading down there where she is, let's take a look. In Celsius, 39 degrees Celsius. In Fahrenheit, that's 102 degrees Fahrenheit. A bit cooler, but crikey, it's still warm. I'm just trying to get some infrared thermometer readings on the X-ax there. It's saying 33 degrees Celsius. And in Fahrenheit, that's 91. I'm not sure how accurate that really is. While the sun's setting, I still can't use the flash on my camera. I notice there's ants crawling over the Dyson here. I hope the cockroach is okay. How do I do this again? I've gotten into trouble here before, haven't I? Okay. Oh, crikey. Oh, no, I think... I can't believe this. The ants have got into the Dyson and got the cockroach. Unbelievable. That cockroach was alive. It was actually kicking in there. I didn't spin it to zero. I wonder if I can still give that to the red book or just put it in the top of the home and hope for the best, eh? Hey? What's got me perplexed is how did the ants get in there because I actually taped it up there. Okay, I had to keep stopping because my phone kept stopping without getting too nasty on Mr. Apple. I've got to close that down first. I've learnt the hard way of this, this one here and then do that uh, last. It also goes all funny on you. I can't believe that. Those ants are ferocious little things. I will give this to the spidey. It's actually the afternoon and the sun's starting to set on me. And if I put the cockroach up here somewhere, I'm not sure whether the... Redback's going to go for that. Let's hope for the best, hey? Maybe I can try and trick her, although what I've learned of redback spiders is they are pretty savvy in what's something real in the web versus something that's, well, playing a game, like I'm playing a game here. They do prefer things to be alive when they capture them. Of course, that's the way nature plays. Um, humans, well, we don't work that way, do we? But, um... Yes, I think she will come up and have a feed on that. I hope so, but I'm really surprised at what those ants have done to me. They've cheated me from giving this girl a lovely live meal. Whoa! Whoa, she's actually come up. I've tricked her. I can't believe that. Yeah, so she's come up. I'm sorry, I've got no light. The, the camera phone, iPhone, is really playing up on me today. It's saying that it keeps wanting to cool down. But it looks like this is great. She's come up. She's looking at the cockroach here, having a feel of it. I feel like I want to puppeteer it more so she gets a more of a genuine feel of what's going on here. I think she's going to feed on that. This is beautiful. I like it a lot. Oh, that could be... That could be the spider bite. Mmm, I can feel that myself. Yes, that's not the kiss of life going on there. That is the kiss of death. Mind you, the cockroach was, well, already taken out by those nasty, nasty ants. That really did surprise me. I wonder whether she's going to wrap web around this and just do a spider thing. Um, yeah, but going by the size of there, now she's 
behind the cockle roach and we can't quite see oh here she comes I would say there's another egg sac brewing there and they billow up in the back that often means that there's oh she's coming up my way hello little girl yeah my fingers are awfully close to this <laughs> but I think I'm faster than her I hope and again sorry I haven't got a light maybe that's gonna make her more comfortable isn't it just stunning to watch and yeah I'm really happy she's gonna get into that cockroach there yummy what a great dinner oh we have light again on the phone yes it didn't take a long she's gone back down to what's most important to her and that is as redback spider xx so just think when the equinox hits by crockies I've got a whole bunch of more deadly spiders waiting to pounce I'll tell you what I haven't seen in here and it is a tad unusual I'm just taking a look around often they hang around on the edge of the web and that is the male redback spider it's a much smaller spider quite insignificant thing or maybe she's already had him for breakfast lunch or dinner okay the Sun has come off the home here let's take another temperature reading there it is Celsius it's much cooler now and in Fahrenheit a lovely 82.8 degrees Fahrenheit I know some people struggle with the idea of made these lures for the redback spiders and places for them to live it's all about a very simple thing keep your friends close and keep your enemies even closer and if you look after your enemies and are nice and kind to them who knows they may one day turn around and become your friends anything is possible